you know, I really do hate to say it, but this is maybe the most hockey story of all time as the Edmonton Oilers today announced that they are hiring Stan Bowman as their next GM. And as a heads up, we are going to be talking about Bowman's gross pass, so feel free to skip this one if you want, because what he let happen under his watch with the Chicago Blackhawks was truly disgusting. After just two years of being suspended indefinitely for his lack of action in the Kyle Beach situation, with him covering up sexual assault, not only failing to protect Kyle, but also leading to more victims as his abuser leveraged his position with the Blackhawks to get new jobs, Stan Bowman is back in the NHL. And to be honest, this has sort of seemed inevitable for a bit. Earlier this month, Gary Bettman rescinded the suspension of him, Joel Quinville, and Al McIsaac, stating that, and I quote, they have all done a great deal of work to improve and inform themselves. Thanks, Gary. Good to know. What have they done? And like, this is the issue here with the NHL, a lack of transparency. What exactly did they do in Chicago, why did they do it? How have they paid their dues? And how will things be better in the future? Like personal growth, that means nothing. And why do we need Stan Bowman back in the NHL? His dad, Scotty, is the NHL legend, not him. He's just a dude that let sexual assault happen in the name of playoff hockey and arguably disgraced the Stanley Cup. And of course, Rick Westhead was on the scene as always. He said in regard to Bowman's introductory conference that Bowman and Beach have created a positive relationship over the past year, but continued stating that Bowman was asked if he had reached out to the second John Doe, the high school player who was assaulted by Aldrich in 2013. And of course, Bowman redirected instead of answering the question and said, anyone negatively impacted, I feel for them and I certainly wish they didn't go through with it. Of course, many of the individuals in this story are still under NDA, which I don't know not great. Even the most positive, happy-go-lucky Oilers fan has to come away from this one a little disheartened because it's just sucky news. It's also crap from a national standpoint too, as Edmonton just had a cup run where a lot of the country were behind them. And now we're kind of reminded how unimportant all of that is when a team goes down a dark path. My opinion, Brandon's opinion in this video, let us know yours respectfully in the comments below.